Well, I'm delighted to welcome Roger Cave back to the studio. It's that time of year when we talk about the Isle of Man Beer and Cider Festival, Festival in how many years now? It's now the eighth festival. Fantastic. And it's grown from humble beginnings. I know. I mean, we've, we follow this in <sighs> smaller places, venues, and you've yeah. got bigger and bigger. Absolutely. We started off at the uh, Masonic Hall. Uh, that wasn't big enough, so we had an extension, a, had a huge marquee. We did that for two years. And now this will be the fifth time we're at the Villa Marina, which is a fantastic venue. And it's now become an established feature of island life. It's fantastic. It really is. Well, we can, we can see here, this is a... Your star from last year, Mr. Rhys Davis, did a fantastic job. He was absolutely fantastic. It really was. You know, he put himself out, spoke to a lot of a lot of people, signed autographs, chatted with them. He was here for about two hours. Absolutely wonderful chap. What are you going to do this year? Well, <laughs> we can top it. In their own words, we're having the purple helmets. Oh. Yes, indeed. Not. Uh, doing the purple helmets are, are they not going to be in the hall? No, right, okay. Okay. Us, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, they will be delivering uh, the special festival ale. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be doing various stunts on the uh, grounds in front of the Villa Marina, including the world famous Purple Helmets Human Pyramid, which will be a sight to, to be seen. Uh, they'll be arriving about quarter past six, right. and uh, they will officially open uh, the festival. Uh, Derry Kissick, as you well know, you've probably interviewed oh, yes. him many, many, many times. times. Uh, and he's got about a dozen of his uh, co patriots on their Honda 90s doing various stunts. Fantastic. Yeah. Must be tricky to think up new ideas each year. Well, isn't it? <laughs> it is because we've had celebrities from the, we've had the governor, we've yeah. had the bishop, we've had two governors, in fact, uh, various celebrities, uh, and well, really, the Purple Helmets, uh, an island institution. Mm -hmm. Now, open to what? Below 18, is it? Of for course. Uh, the alcohol thing? And, absolutely. And you turn up or you buy tickets? How's it work? Buy days? tickets. You can buy them uh, online. Uh, www.beerfest. We'll put the details oh, up here. Details. <laughs> from there. But from the Welcome Centre. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you can turn up on the day. It's only £5 entry fee. Uh, it's very, very good value for money. Uh, we do the usual cashless bar, so you buy beer tokens. Uh, so we don't handle any money whatsoever. Uh, and any tokens which aren't used, uh, they can be donated to our Festival Good Cause, which mm -hmm. this year uh, is the uh, Lions Clubs on the Isle of Man. So, more different varieties? I mean, how do you go about this? I mean, keeping it fresh and different, and you've got yep. to get guest beers come in. That's uh, what absolutely, yeah. we, we have to. Yeah. Uh, we're sticking with about 150 real ales. Uh, we've got about 50 or 60 ciders, uh, fruit wines. Uh, speciality this year is mead. It sold out so quickly last year that we've had to increase the order on that. And to uh, keep with that honey theme, the festival beer, which is again being brewed by Bushes, uh, great supporters of the festival, and it will be a honey-based beer. So uh, honey that will be something really worth Trying for. And it's also, it's only going to be brewed just for this festival. In other uh, festivals, we've had the festival air, which has gone on throughout the year. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a one off brew just for this festival. So if you want to get your lips around some fantastic tasting beer on a honey variety, you've got to come for the festival. Otherwise, you okay. won't be able to well, get we'll it. see the crowds. I think that was on the very early start of it. And Absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, I think you've had problems with so many people wanting to get in sometimes. But hey, yeah. that's probably a good thing to have if nothing else. Absolutely. We'd rather have more people than yeah, less. Yeah. But I think we've just about cracked uh, the queuing. Yeah. problem which we uh, dogged us the first couple of years mm -hmm. uh, I think we've got that sorted now uh, great help from the, from the Villa staff uh, keep things moving so come well, on down okay yeah. so the dates of it uh, dates it's uh, the 11th to the 13th of April of this month mm -hmm. April Fool yeah we're going April 1st yeah. absolutely uh, so uh, yes there's the, the 11th uh, Trade, special guests, etc. Two o'clock till five o'clock. Open to the general public. Please come along from five o'clock onwards. Mm -hmm.